Shalom and welcome to Kawa Kapash and GMS London giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq Kodash, the one on the elders, the apostles of GMS, and honor that they're the brethren on the highest by the teaching of truth in all sincerity. Okay, I uh, just got an article here. I uh, just uh, saw this now. All right, it says here the rich are betting they can buy their way to a longer life. Okay, so basically, you know. The elites, well, not the elites. This is this. This is talking about rich people. The elites are on some other shit, but you know, you know these uh, so-called rich people, you know, because they got more money to more disposable money than the poor. You know, they can provide themselves better healthcare services. Okay, and they're willing to invest a lot of money in trying to elongate their lifespan. Okay, you now you know I mentioned the elites quickly because um you know they're on that same mindset as well but they they want to you know they're taking it further than just fucking healthcare okay they're looking to uh transcend the the, the human body and so on but you know, i want to speak a bit more on that later but um so we're getting to this article now all right it says uh, money might not buy love but it can buy better health and to live as long as possible the world's healthiest are willing to pay up so over the past few decades the average person's lifespan has risen almost everywhere in, in the world okay this is in china the u.s and most Eastern Europe, the average life expectancy at birth has reached the late 70s. Okay, so according to the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development. So people in the, in Western Europe and Japan, meanwhile, can expect to live into their early 80s. Okay, now, you know, they're saying that, you know, that this is a you know, good achievement, life expectancy has gone up and that. Okay, but th this it's no, it's no real... Um, feet as that is the um, t a lot of time span that was given to us right now yeah some people will live a bit longer than that you know depending but um, that's not what I want but generally people only live to about 80 years or so okay and you know my, most time I said plagues and stuff like that in times past to kill off people and stuff like that you know pre like prematurely early but there's no real difference than what's today there's plenty of people dying prematurely all right before before their four years is carried out right but it says here and this is um psalms 90 verse 10 it says the days of our years are three score years and 10 okay 70 right and if by a reason or strength they be four score years 80 Yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and will fly away. Okay, so that is just what was given to us um, by the Heavenly Father after, you know, the Lord witnessed man's wickedness. Because men used to live a lot longer before, back in the ancient time. Um, I believe the longest living man, according to the scriptures, was uh, Methuselah, which I believe he died uh, 969 but that was all commonplace back then people living into the 900s and, and stuff like that but eventually the lord um brought those numbers down significant significantly okay so you know we're in a, a degraded state really okay considering you know, the lifespans we used to hold okay um so i just wanted to get that scripture quickly back in this all right so uh, most rich people, however, are counting on living even longer, a lot longer. Okay, a lot, you know, surpassing the eighties. I just read. So uh, as in two decades more than average. All right. So they're looking to ways to extend their life. Okay. So in a new UBS financial services survey, uh, fifty-three percent of wealthy investors said that they expect to live to a hundred. Okay, and some people do that today, but like I said, you know, for reason of strength, most uh, you know, may allow. So uh, hitting short with digits won't be easy, but it's not an outlandish as, you, as it used to be. The average Japanese woman now has a life expectancy of 87. Um, the data show compared with 81, 81 years for men. Many studies have shown that the wealthy have built a, in have have a built-in longevity advantage, okay, because they have it easier. All right, so uh, in the U.S., for example, the richest one percent of American women by income live more than 10 years longer than the poorest one percent. Okay, because when you when you poor man, you you under a lot of stress, uh, you know, 
in in you know poor conditions okay you're more um vulnerable okay is a good word you're more vulnerable to the things around you man and like i said stress stress kills man and then you know the poor you are you know harder things uh can be for you man so typically you you will die younger man you know jay dying young on the streets all, all the damn time okay but there's a lot of things involved with being poor man not being able to eat so well you know being you know living in certain area dangerous areas you know no no clean water and stuff like that you know there's plenty of things man the wealthy and the rich they can uh buy their way out of situations okay so you know this you know this is what he's speaking on really right um, <clears throat> this is, uh, for men, the gap between the richest and poorest Americans is almost 15 years. So the rich also seem to know that living to 100 is, is, price, is a pricey prospect, one that requires more spending on healthcare, better food, exercise, and other services that can lengthen life. Okay, so, you know, like I was saying about the elites, okay, they're all, they're all investing in projects where they, you, they, you know, we've seen it, uh, Programs like Auto Carbon, Black Mirror, and stuff like that, you know, transcending the the the, the limitations or you know, see limitations of the of the physical body, okay, and being uh, you know, the whole transhumanism movement to be to move into robots, you know, computers, systems, and stuff like that to live forever, basically. Okay, these so are the elites, man. They're looking to live indefinitely. They're look, they're looking to become immortal. Okay, they're not they're not just trying to extend their lives by 10 years okay they, they're trying to rule the earth forever bro. so they they go and try you know put themselves into machines and stuff like that so they can do that okay um it says also you have to keep paying for everything that comes from hanging around additional decades blah 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 uh right done here so the rich are more than willing to sacrifice money for extra longevity nine of nine of uh, ten wealthy people agreed that health is more important than wealth asked by UBS how much of their fortune they'd be willing to give up to guarantee an extra 10 years of, of healthy life the average response is varied by wealth level okay so this is what you know I backtracked a little bit saying that this is not really speaking about the elites because these numbers that they're dealing with is kind of small fry, small fry level. Okay, so these are just rich people, you know, that that can do a little bit of something to extend their, their years uh, a bit further. But like the elites, it, it, they're on some serious, <laughs> serious shit, right? To extend their life, right? It says investors who are barely millionaires with 1 million to 2 million in net worth were willing to give up a third of their nest egg for an additional decade of life. Investors with more than 50 million were willing to part with almost half of their fortune. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. But in this article, yes, yes, is it says it here, right? It says, well, I'll read it. The world's trend uh, toward longer life has featured an exception in recent years. Okay. Bad news here, right? It says, life expectancy of Americans have declined for two years in a row. An abnorm anomaly that can be blamed in part on the country's opioid, opioid, uh, abuse crisis okay but even before us like even before us lifespan started slipping because of the of drug use health and longevity st statistics significant significantly lacked those of other wealthy countries in western europe and asia and that's just another point to show you that america is through okay it's dying <laughs> everybody else is dying in it okay america's finished man okay america's done Right, says, perhaps it's not surprising then that rich American survey by UBS had difficult different attitudes from for okay, yeah, yeah. Uh I don't need to read that. Okay, yes, yeah, uh, if rich Americans aren't planning for extra cost of longevity, they could be making a mistake. Studies show that the wealthy in the US are increasingly insulated from the from the de depressing health trends uh, afflicting most Americans. 
A 2016 study by the University of California at Berkeley professors Emmanuel Says and Gabriel Zuckerman compared with compared the death rates of American men aged 65 to 79 across several decades by wealth. If these men's wealth placed it in the top 1%, their mortality rates in the early 80s were 12% lower than average. Okay, so like I said, America's done. 25 years later, the wealthiest American men's death rates have plunged to a 40% below average. Okay, so, you know, these are this the things that they're <laughs> investing in now, trying to live longer. <laughs> okay, but... Um, but America's through, man. These people are dying. <laughs> okay, but they're scared and they want to live longer. Okay, but that is really for the men of the Lord to live longer. Okay, indefinitely, because that's only what we're going to get. Okay, um, but before I go there and bring that out in that in the scriptures, let's go here. Second, uh, what's the second issue? Where is it? No, it wasn't this. It's like one second I had it here. Right. Alright, it tells you here Wisdom of Solomon 2 verse 23, right? It says, for God created man to be immortal. Okay, so you know, like I was saying before, that like, you know, back in in the beginning, okay, men were living to a lot, lot longer than now. Okay, really, we was designed to be immortal. Okay, but that immortality, immortality is really reserved for the Lord's elect, the children of Israel, the Lord's chosen people. Right? It's not, it's not there for everyone to to have. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna you're gonna see why and how that is in a minute. Okay, but um, yes, yeah, it's for God created man to be immortal and made him to be an and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Okay, and that really represents Israel. Okay, because these other nations don't really they're not. Uh, I mean, in in appearance they they look like men just like the rest of us, but they're not the image of the heavenly Father in terms of you know, um. Uh, in terms of um, knowledge, wisdom, understanding that he's given us, okay, to conduct ourselves like unto him, albeit we went off uh, and and did wickedness. Ultimately, the whole the purpose of us is, is to be brought unto righteousness and to literally be as as his son Yahweh Shai, who is the the, the exact image of uh, the heavenly Father, okay, and we are to be unlike unto him, okay. So we're gonna being in that perfect image of the heavenly father and his son in the kingdom okay uh let me just see quickly what else they had here turn back again okay because there are some other scriptures here on the mortal as well so Okay, right. Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 19 says this, right? It says, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Okay, but that was already delivered to the Israelites. Right? It says, and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Okay? So, like I say, if you, if you don't, the Lord didn't never give you the, the, the um, knowledge, wisdom, <laughs> So like a knowledge, wisdom, understanding of these scriptures, okay. Like I said, it was already delivered, already delivered to Israel. If He's not giving you those things, then you can't receive that fruit of the tree of immortality. Okay. So like I said, that, that immortality is really preserved for the Israelites. You got the elites trying to 